So it's 2022 and you want to make a YouTube channel. Here's what you need to do. Go to www.youtube.com and uh, somewhere up in the upper right hand corner there'll be something that says create channel. Type in your name and you're done. Thanks for watching. <laughs> All right, I'm clearly joking. There's a lot more that goes into it. And I've created a list of things that I really think will help you out if you're interested in starting a YouTube channel. The first thing on my list sounds incredibly easy, but in fact, it's probably one of the hardest things for everyone to do, and that is to just start. I know it sounds way easier than it is, but don't make it complicated. You know, your first video can literally be, hey, my name's Jordan Lonegro, this is my YouTube channel, and I'm gonna be making videos, so come back and check them out. Boom, done. 15 seconds long, upload it, post it, there you go. Your first video is out of the way. You can shake it off, you know, and on to the next video. Make something else. I believe in you, just start. The second thing on my list is start with what you have. You don't have to have the most epic camera with studio lights and boom microphones and green screens and all kinds of stuff to create a channel. 99% of us have this in our pockets, which to be completely honest with you, probably takes just as good a video Oops. Records just as good as the camera that I'm using right now. I went to Best Buy. I bought a little tripod for my phone. It was like $15. Set it up, put your phone on there, hit record, you're good to go. The audio on this thing is really, really good. And at this place that's kind of like a five below, I found this little ring light for $8. That's really all you need to start. Film next to windows with natural light. If you have a camera and you don't have a tripod, stack up some boxes, use a TV tray. Who cares? You don't need the most expensive things to start. It really doesn't matter what you're filming with as long as you know, you're you, you're authentic, and you have a good story to tell, then people will watch. I've watched so many people that I value and inspire to be like, and I take certain things from their videos, what I like, what I don't like, and I try to you know, learn and grow and apply them to my videos. That's my tip for you. Whatever kind of content you wanna create, go online and watch other people making that type of content and not necessarily copy them, but use them as inspiration and apply their tactics and what you like about their videos to your videos. Number four, find what excites you, find what you're passionate about and create videos around that. I make all kinds of videos because so many different things excite me. Music, making short films, making vlogs, mental health type things, you know, doing things out of your comfort zone, filming leaves or whatever it may be. I don't really have a niche on my channel and that's okay because that's my channel. I like to create all kinds of stuff and post all kinds of stuff and that's what I like to do. If you're a gamer, post game videos. If you want to review products, post those kind of videos. But do what feels the best to you because when you create videos that you want to create, that authenticity is going to come out on camera and you're going to be more relatable and people are going to be more up to checking out your stuff rather than being somebody that creates videos solely because you feel like you have to because that's what's going to get the views or that's what other people were doing that's really only going to get you so far and you're probably going to burn out on something like that pretty quickly rather than finding what you love and making videos number five on my list kind of goes with number four if you look up other videos that people have made like this a lot of them will say find your niche and stick to it now that's cool, find your niche. If, like I said, you make cooking videos, that's cool. But if you wanna change it up, that's totally okay. It's your channel, you can do whatever you want. That is the freedom of YouTube. Think about people like Mr. Beast, who I brought up in my last video. He started off making videos counting to like 100,000, just sitting in one spot. They were like, the most random things. Now he's like the most popular guy on YouTube creating millions of dollars worth of YouTube content. He's changed it up so much. It's okay to not completely stick to one thing 
because I don't know, I'm just an advocate of I don't really want to corner myself into somewhere and feel like I can only make videos like that and I shouldn't post other things. I like to make a wide variety of content. That's my channel and that's what I'm gonna do. Number six, once you create a video, the best way to get it seen is create a catchy thumbnail and a catchy title for your videos. There's what's called an SEO, which stands for Search Engine Optimization, and that's something that I can discuss in detail in a different video, but basically, there's keywords that help promote your video. For example, if you go on vacation, make a video. You don't really wanna post a video that just says, fun vacation with family. You might wanna post, epic Bahama trip 2022, something, something, something. You know, those are things and keywords that are more likely for people to search and will be more likely for your video to pop up in their search results and get you seen by more viewers. And when you create a thumbnail, I suggest to create a thumbnail based on what your channel is about. You know, some people like really clean cut, no captions, no wording. Some people outline themselves with big epic fonts and all kinds of stuff and if that's the theme of your channel and what you like, then do it. But your thumbnail is literally the first thing people see that will draw them in to clicking on that video and showing them a little bit about what you are and what your channel and video is gonna be about. And for number seven, after you've done those two things, share your content on all platforms. I try to share mine on Facebook, Facebook story, Instagram, Instagram story, Twitter. My cousin recently just told me I should start posting my videos to Reddit. Share it, share it, share it. Have your friends share it, have your friends like it. Whatever that can get your content out there for more people to see is better for you and for growing your channel. Number eight, the next one on my list is probably my number one most important one and is something that I struggle with with every video, but it's aim for good enough not perfection. I could make a whole video on this topic because it's a hard thing to do. There's been so many times I have spent hours and hours into editing little tiny details that I know only I will notice. It just kind of burns me out and it makes me be frustrated and then it becomes hard to look forward to the next video because you associate that with being really stressed out and it, that's just not what you want to do. I watched a video one time with Casey Neistat who went I think over 400 straight days posting every single day on YouTube. He said, do you think I could really ever worry about perfection when I'm posting content that consecutively? Now the thing is he grew his channel more than ever in that amount of time. People aren't worried about if you have a shot that's a little bit out of focus, you know, this ain't no David Fincher film. It's just a YouTube channel that you're posting your content on and it's okay if it's not perfect, nothing will ever be perfect. And even if you spend all your time trying to make it to your version of perfect, in a month from now, you'll probably watch that video back and think, oh man, there's so many things that would change or blah, 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 blah. And there's just too much energy that you don't need to waste. So just, Make a video and post it. Be happy with it. The next one on my list is another important one to me and it's a word that I brought up a few other times in this video and that is be authentic and be yourself. Being fake will only get you so far. You can tell when people aren't real and when their lives are fake or when it's just all for show or just for the vlog or whatever it may be. I promote being yourself and being open and doing things out of your comfort zone and sharing your thoughts and feelings because that relates to people. And for me, uh, when I watch videos, I like to relate to other people. So be authentic, be real, be yourself, and people will like you for you and they'll come back and they'll watch your channel for you and for the videos that you make. The next one is probably the most important one on how to grow your channel and that is to stay consistent which is extremely, extremely hard for me. It's something that I go like this with, and you know, that's okay, but that is my focus for 2022. I'm aiming to post one video a week, and I feel like that's pretty reasonable for, you know, the majority of people out there. Aim for one video a week, and try your best to stay consistent. And you know, if a week goes by and you didn't post a video, that's okay. Don't beat yourself up for it. But really the only way to grow is to stay consistent because once you start gaining an audience and gaining traffic, people are gonna to wanna to watch your content and they're gonna look forward to it. So if you're posting and posting and then all of a sudden don't post for three months, 
people are going to kind of forget about you and fizzle away and your next videos that come out when you do post aren't going to get as many views. So it's hard to do, but try and stay consistent with at least one video a week. Next is one that I struggle with, we all do as content creators, but don't dwell on the views. It kind of sucks, but I have noticed that the videos that I really, really enjoy to make the most are the ones that actually tend to get the least amount of views, and the ones that I just make for fun and post get way more views. It is what it is. Hopefully one day I can turn these videos into the ones that get a lot of views. But for now, I'm just trying to keep creating and keep putting out content. You know, really, it, it it's not about you sometimes, it's about the algorithm. Sometimes the video didn't show up on people's feed. Sometimes maybe it was the time of day that you posted the video and people just didn't get around to seeing it. You know, it's not always about you and your content. It's just how the internet works. So just keep posting. Some videos are gonna get a lot of views, some are not. Try not to get discouraged and try not to dwell on the views and just keep posting. It only takes one video to grab the attention of viewers and blow up your channel and gain you subscribers. So just keep posting, it'll happen. And this is the last one on my list. Analyze, optimize, repeat. Post a video, watch it, analyze, learn, what did you like? What didn't you like? What do you want to do for the next video? What do you not want to do for the next video? Repeat. Keep doing that over and over and over again. You can post a video and maybe you think it's the best video you've ever made and a month from now you look back on it and oh man that kind of I could have done that different blah, 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 blah. that's always gonna happen so just post a video analyze it optimize it learn from it what what can you do for your next video and repeat. There's so many tips for people uh, starting out with YouTube or creating content, but I really do think that I've narrowed down a list of really solid tips that will help you and that I really wish I knew when I was starting my channel back in the day and things that I'm still even right now applying to myself and learning and growing from. So I hope these tips were some help for you if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel. Like I said, like number one, just start, just do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.